everybody's talking about you guys should have been a number two seed. Does that matter to you? What are your kind of general impressions of your draw? Well, you know, I think if you – it is what it is. So we, when we can discuss and talk about it. I told Tom, you know, I'm here today to talk about this and what I do. I, I, I do believe after Selection Sunday that the chairman or people of the committee should have to have a, a national day of – press conference where you all, can, they can be asked questions, not just for three minutes or two minutes, from people that have really covered college basketball throughout. And when you look at it, to answer your question, you know, everybody said that we were a three seed going into the uh, SEC tournament. So it doesn't look like the tournament helped uh, us. And uh, certainly I don't understand a, a team in the SEC that wins 12 games like Texas A&M and playing great basketball at the end not being in the tournament, it, it just baffles me. It, it really does. And if that's the way it's going to be, if the, if the conference turn, tournament doesn't mean anything, and if the teams that are already slotted to be in the tournament can't improve their seating, we should stay at home and let the teams that that are trying to get in the tournament fight for that one bid to give our league a chance to get more. So those are the questions I think that should really be asked and answered. And, uh, I mean, there's people out there much more thorough than I am in terms of looking at resumes and all that. But from a coaching standpoint, I'm, you know, we're not going to. This is what we have, and we're going to we're going to go from here. But on a national level, and and for our game, maybe a press conference where tough questions have to be answered. It helps people going forward. If it's scheduling that people aren't doing, um, they can help. They can take care of that themselves. But uh, uh, like I said, it is what it is. And, we we got to go play basketball, and, and uh, I'm, I'm proud of our guys for the effort that they've done uh, and put into all year long, and and uh, and to have a chance to be part of this is is what we work for. Jim, yeah. certainly the goal is to be playing. Certainly the goal is to be playing your best basketball right now. Do you feel like the tournament illustrates that maybe you are playing your best basketball? Now? Yeah, I do think we did some good things throughout. You know, each game had its own challenges within within the games, and uh, but we, we did a lot of good things. I thought, especially yesterday, we knew we were going to have to really do a good job of, of knowing that, you know, we've been, you know, basically a couple games playing our traditional, you know, big lineup, subbing two guys at a time, but we knew that with A&M playing, you know, small lineup that we would go to uh, play that lineup as long as we thought we could, and then uh, size down to our small lineup, and and I thought the guys did a really good job against a team that, again, playing as well as any team in the country, should be in the tournament. And uh, we guarded the ball well. And certainly they had four days where they just fought like crazy. And, and uh, they, they fought yesterday to the very end. And, but I thought our guys really did do a good job of perimeter defense and trying to really guard the basketball. Mike Grant and Ben. Yeah, I wanted to ask about that that lineup that you went with for basically the final nine minutes yesterday with the four guards and the foggy. What do you like so much about that lineup and, and what it's given you so consistently kind of in the past maybe six weeks or so? Well, when, when Folky's really locked in and playing well and uh, doing the things that, that he can do, because, you know, we, we can get him the ball there and the, around the elbow areas and anywhere there, you know, guys cut off of him. Our movement's been good. We've become a team that we're moving, cutting, moving those parts around. And, that's when we're playing our best basketball. And, and he and, and our post guys, really, in general, they all pass the ball pretty well. But uh, knowing that they were playing the, the matchup zone they were in, doing the different things, and we finally got settled down, and we were just really trying to keep our movement going. And, and uh, but, but he was good in that area. And uh, we, we like it when he can get some space there to work with. Yesterday was your first conference title since 94, right? Mm -hmm. what, what, how do you appreciate at this point in your career going on that kind of run versus when you were a younger coach uh, with that Providence? Well, one, you know, I've got, I mean, obviously I, I think it's extremely hard to win a regular season championship. I think it's hard to win conference tournaments and all leagues are differently. And I mean, I can sit and talk about all the different ways that things play out through the years, but uh, you know, honestly, when you, you get to be my age and, and you and you look around and, and when you have a group of guys like we have, and I've had so many wonderful, I mean, just unbelievable players that uh, I know how hard they work and 
now I take, I will tell you, and I've said it before, I made the mistake many, many years ago of making it about me, and I was wrong, dead wrong in that, but now it truly is about to play. I, I, I guess I've matured, I've grown up with it, and I, I love it, I love the way those guys celebrated, I love it because they deserve it, a lot of emotion came out there because this year we weren't perfect, you know, we had ups and downs within our program that we have to deal with, but when it, you see it coming together and, and uh, the effort that I know that these guys put in it and the respect that, that they really do have for each other, it's, 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 it's something that's, uh, and again, this group will, someday they'll be brought back here many years, I won't be here, but they'll, they'll be brought back and, you know, be honored for many, many years to come and, and, uh, and uh, that's something that they'll be, they'll be remembered and they'll be, a, you know, conference champions for forever. There will be a bond there that they'll look back one day and when they have children and grandchildren, it'll, be, it'll it, it mean even more to them. Rick, over those three games, was that the best version of Josiah that you've seen? Was that the best basketball that he's played? Well, he's played good. He, Josiah and Santi, they, they, both of those guys, they don't get the credit for what they do on the defensive end. I mean, they what they do to play, I mean, Josiah's block there was an incredible block. What Johnson had to do with guarding against Jackson yesterday, I mean, that, that kid that played an incredible tournament. Santi, you know, we were going back and forth, not sure we wanted to put Santi on because we, you know, how important he is to us. But both of those guys just went at it with each other. And, uh, you know, so many people look at steals and things like that when they talk about defense, but it's the fix it plays that, uh, that Joe did, uh, even when he's not making shots. But when he's starting to play at all three levels like he is, that's, yeah, that's the player that we know he can be. And, and again, I think he's just getting started to how good a basketball player they can be. Rick, you come out of an SEC tournament where you're playing everybody that you're familiar with. Now you go into an NCAA tournament where you're not familiar with these teams. Do you like that challenge of the scouting reports and trying to figure out what you can and can't do? Yeah, but I think looking at it, you know, we played, uh, again, they're a uh, long ways of, again, I don't know a lot about them right now, but I do know that they're a guard heavy team and experienced players. And when you go through a league, and again, I know how hard it is to go through a league when you only what, lose one game. and you win a championship, and and uh, we all know how the transfer portal works too. And so, every game is going to be a hard game. And but every, I mean, we the scouting report in in the, all three games this past weekend were different. So we our guys have I think learned how to adapt to that quickly. But we'll we'll get busy with it uh, tomorrow. I, I, again, I wish our tournament would end on Saturday. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, we end on Sunday late, get back here. You know, we, flew, we were flying back through the selection show, and then we turn around, and they, they, we get put in an early afternoon game, but that's the way it is. And uh, that's why I wish, as a league, we'd look at moving our tournament to, to Saturday, which will be hard to do because it's been brought up so many times. But uh, I, think, I think everybody in our league is, I know the coaches certainly would like it to, to be that way. Coach, obviously a talent. Um, obviously a talented team, but could you pinpoint one thing maybe off the court that has led to the success that you guys had yesterday that separates the 43-year drought? Well, I, th I think any time you, you win and, you, and you're successful, I think it's, I, I do think it's leadership. And uh, I, mean, I talked a lot about it yesterday that when we ended last season, first thing we talked about, we ended it with talking about leadership and said we can't we can't move forward until we get more from within the program and you guys are willing to lead each other and some days talk to each other in a way that maybe uh, you guys don't know how to do it because it's hard to be a leader it's hard to be a team where you're willing to uh, not in a not in a bad way but be able to say to someone during the, hey man that's that's a tough shot hey come on man take care of the basketball those kind of things hey you you, you know you got to block out. And uh, because oftentimes when you deal with, you know, young players, they're like, hey, you know, worry about you or whatever. And so we, we ended our season talking about it. And we started our, a year ago when we started back in the, you know, get ready for this year during the summer, talked about the same thing. And then as you go through a year, you know, injuries creep in uh, outside, you know, people's voices that these guys hear from, there are different camps that they that they deal with, and, and uh, but the leadership is what brought us through it, and it and it did come from within. It really did. We we went through like every team. I think every team does go through it, but 
when thinking of Josiah and Santi and and the way they they lead in in different ways. But uh, Urosh's voice became a big voice. You know, I mean, I could go down the line with so many different guys. Zakai, just in the way that he came in and, and brought something that uh, we 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 didn't know all about it, which I don't think you, I don't think you do know, but. Uh, you know, his DNA has, has had a tremendous effect on this team, and certainly Kennedy and the, the way he's continued to grow. And um, B.J. Bailey, I mean, I mean, you can't ask for a better teammate than him for a guy that certainly has been a big part of a program. But uh, I'd be disappointed if he and the other guys on the bench didn't want to play more because they want to play. But for them to encourage their teammates, and uh, I, I walked into the locker room last night right before the team got ready on the floor and V.J. Bailey had Urosh in a corner like you thought, like I, I, I see football player, kid, but just saying, hey man, you got to get every rebound. You understand. I mean, V.J. was telling him. And when you get that kind of interaction with the team, that's when you know you've got something special. Rick, at this time of year, a lot of people say it's all about guard play. Do you buy that there or do you think there's a whole lot more to it than that? There's a, there's a lot more. I mean, you got to have terrific guard play. You got you know you got to be able to, to defend the three point line. You got you got to take care of the basketball. I mean, it, it's a team sport, and because of that, I mean, everybody's valuable. I mean, whether you you know when you go up against a, a team, um, you've got all guards, and you run into a matchup where the other team's really big. Either they've got a size down to you, or you, if you don't have big guys, what do you do? So I, I think it's all important. And, and I think the mindset of continuing to like get better, to, to, like tomorrow, I think is an important day for us. It's, it's, a, it's a big day of preparation, and we, we wanted these guys to enjoy what they accomplished yesterday. But they know, and, and I know, what what our ultimate goal has been, and the fact we're there with a chance to go after it is, is where we want to be. Thank you, coach. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Rick.